All right, here is a typical third order polynomial ax cubed plus bx squared plus cx plus d equals zero. And if I divide this whole equation by a, this comes to x cubed plus b on a x squared plus c on a x plus d on a is equal to zero. And so we are left with three undetermined coefficients. Now typically third order polynomials also have three roots. Let's say these are x equals alpha, x equals beta, and x equals gamma. So this equation can also be expressed as x minus alpha by x minus beta by x minus gamma is equal to zero. And once I have expanded all these terms out and equated all of the coefficients to their respective terms, I get these relationships between the roots and the coefficients. So first of all, alpha plus beta plus gamma, so the sum of all the roots, is equal to negative b on a, so negative of the x squared coefficient. Next, alpha beta plus alpha gamma plus beta gamma is equal to positive c on a, so this is the linear coefficient or the x coefficient. And finally, the multiplication of all the coefficients, alpha times beta times gamma, is equal to negative d on a. So this is the free term. And this uh, middle one, sometimes we write shorthand as the sum of alpha by beta, or I like to say the sum of the products of paired combinations of the roots. I hope that wasn't too confusing. Let's do some examples. Okay, so example one, the equation 2x cubed minus 3x squared minus 5x minus 1 equals 0 has roots alpha, beta and gamma. What is the value of 1 over alpha cubed, beta cubed and gamma cubed? So first of all, this term here can be rewritten as 1 over alpha, beta, gamma, all cubed. And of course, this can be rewritten as alpha, beta, gamma to the negative 3. And as we established before, the product of all the roots is equal to negative d on a. And of course, this is still raised to the negative third power. So d in this case is negative 1 and a is 2. So negative d on a is equal to a half, positive a half. And of course, this is equal to 2 cubed. So taking the negative 1 into the parentheses, which in turn flips the fraction. So 2 cubed is equal to 8. OK, example 2. If alpha, beta and gamma are roots of x cubed plus kx squared plus lx plus m equals 0, evaluate alpha squared plus beta squared plus gamma squared and alpha cubed plus beta cubed plus gamma cubed. OK, for the first part, alpha squared plus beta squared plus gamma squared, we can note that alpha squared plus beta squared plus gamma squared, so the sum of the square of the roots is equal to alpha plus beta plus gamma all squared minus 2 outside of alpha beta plus alpha gamma plus beta gamma. Okay, so the sum of the roots is equal to the x squared coefficient 
negative of the coefficient I should say so we have negative k squared minus 2 times well this is equal to the x coefficient so we have minus 2 by L and this simplifies to k squared minus 2L okay so for the first part of this example you can satisfy yourself that the expansion of this minus this term is equal to a squared plus b squared plus gamma squared but to take the same approach with the second part would be quite a bit more tedious and therefore error prone so let's take an easier approach let's rearrange the equation so that we have x cubed is equal to negative k x squared minus lx minus m now when x equals alpha we say alpha cubed is equal to minus k alpha squared minus l alpha and of course when x equals beta we have beta square cubed is equal to negative k beta squared minus l beta minus m and it follows then that when x equals gamma we have gamma cubed is equal to negative k gamma squared minus l times gamma minus m so if we add all these terms together we have a alpha cubed plus beta cubed plus gamma cubed is equal to all right so if I sum all these vertically I get negative k outside of alpha squared plus beta squared plus gamma squared minus L outside of alpha plus beta plus gamma and then minus 3m and of course this term is equal to k squared minus 2L as we found before the addition of the roots is equal to the x squared coefficient or negative of the x squared coefficient which is minus k so we have minus L times minus k here we have minus k by k squared minus 2L and the negative 3m remains so in the end we have minus k cubed plus 2kl plus kl and minus 3m which then simplifies to 3kl minus k cubed minus 3m okay so this is more of a theoretical application of the roots of a third order polynomial I don't see these as having much applications in other fields other than pure maths but of course these are very handy to know for exams so if you have found this video useful please give me a like and please feel free to subscribe to my channel for more free math tutorials in the meantime best of luck with your studies and I'll see you on the next video